All right. So, last time, the crew had just recovered from uh, fighting a shambling mound and had a lovely conversation about Brimstone's recent behavior. After, they decided to finish off looking through the rest of the basement areas, searching through the rooms they found... Really. Yeah, yeah, a very horrible decision. <laughs> searching through the rooms they found a mimic that had uh, affixed itself to Eamon, literally. And, uh... <laughs> it went down without too much incident, but they, they found themselves in a bedroom chamber that had a very enticing chest in the middle. Upon touching it, however, two creatures burst out of the walls. And a scary. horrible, deformed gas dressed like Mr. and Mrs. Durst, the owners of the house. And the music is a mm -hmm. bit too loud right now, just a sec. Turn that right down, and there we go. Uh, yes. So the, a fight ensued, and uh, it looked a little grim when both Brimstone and Zelfine were knocked out. But eventually, the, mm -hmm. the former owners of the house were taken down. After taking a rest, they uh, f checked out the final room, which had a statue of a pale man holding a crystal orb in one hand. And upon investigating that, they were attacked by shadows, which were probably the spirits of former cultists. You don't know. You don't know. The battle was rough, but <laughs> eventually the shadows rough. fell. They took the crystal orb and broke the statue into tiny pieces. And uh, with one final trip to the crypt to attempt to put the remains of the Durst to rest, they headed up the secret staircase they found and opened a trap door. The trap door led to the den of the house. Unfortunately, the room had uh, filled with noxious black smoke and all the walls had started to decay and all the doors were replaced with terrible slicing blades. <laughs> Through some smashing and slashing and uh, attacks by rats, the team finally managed to break their way out of the house and back onto the street. The fog had receded and no longer trapped them in the house, and they found themselves back in the village that they were found themselves in a few days ago. The sound of a cart creaks on the cobblestones as they hear a voice say, Pies for sale! Pies for sale! And that is so where we start. So the first thing um, that is going to happen that I would like to do is, um, how far away is, is the pie seller? All is right. she within 60 feet of me? Yes, she sure is. She is just at the end I of would the like street to use here. My, I would like to use my sanguine scent, my new <gasps> feature. <laughs> you gotta sniff. So, gotta this, sniff. Is a this is a long thing. Um, Good lord. And when Bernstein does this the first time, like he almost seems confused. Um, because this is very new. Um, <laughs> so for the next 10 minutes, I can smell the approximate number of living creatures within 60 feet of me. I can differentiate the type, but not the identity of any specific creature. The first question I have is, are all my companions humanoids? They are all humanoids. Cool. Right. Does Riley have like a little bit of like, just a, a little sprinkle of fiend in there? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I mean, because you're tiefling. So that, and then yeah, the, uh, yep. <laughs> the pie seller. Can I smell what type of creature the pie seller is? Mm, it's kind of like disguised a little bit by weird perfumes, but you you think you can smell a bit of fiendishness in the air. Mm. Oh, all right. I'm going to look at the rest of them and say, I do not think that the pie seller is a. Uh, on the up and up, shall we say. Amon is, yeah. is going to put on his helmet and use divine sense because that is not going to be fooled by perfume. <laughs> yeah, I had just, to uh, double check <laughs> some stuff. I don't mm -hmm. I like how both Brimson and Amon immediately just went. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Amen no is going to turn to the to the rest of the group and be like, "Look, so far everything has tried to kill us. Until until we until we learn otherwise, I I, I kind of am in the headspace where I am going to assume that everything else we come across in this place is going to try and kill us." <laughs> yes. I also oh, think it's important if we can, we should try and see if we can just leave. Yeah. Well. As you say that, she is not even really looking at you. She's just heading down the street, knocking on a door. When nobody comes out, she goes 
to the next door and knocks on that as well. And she just seems to be going about her business, knocking on doors. Now, what did my divine what? sense show up? Oh, that, that's definitely a fiend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no doubt. Even kind of like <laughs> takes out his hammer and kind of like shrugs and then puts it away again because he's literally not sure what to do at this point. <laughs> we should try Wait, and leave. Uh, Let's go back to the gate. I, Riley, but... Riley's awake, right? Yeah, she's awake. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think I got nine HP last time. Okay, okay, I'm good to go. Riley kind of says, but pies sound really good right now. But doesn't anybody want pies? Come on, you know, guys. I'm a fiend. That's a hard Road pass. rations are also really good. <laughs> Mmm, Amen. Oh. <laughs> Riley looks a little yeah. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, she's made her way down the street now, and she knocks on one door and actually gets the door opening. She goes, Should... and y y you see, like, an exchange. You're a bit far away from her now, but she hands over a pie and then turns the corner and starts heading down the street this way. Should we be allowing that to happen? She is a fiend, after all. She doesn't seem to be hurting anybody right now, I just don't know what's I... in the pies. Eamon is going to approach her, you know, casually, and be like, Hello there! Uh, do you mind if I ask what's in these pies? Are you... As you move away from Brimstone, Brimstone is going to put a hand on your shoulder, and he's going to look you in the eye very seriously and say, If we can, we should just try and leave here. Honestly. I know, but again, kind of, kind of a thing I, I, I have to do. I'm not going to start anything. Don't worry. I just want to know if she's doing anything uh, less than uh, <laughs> sacred. All right, but I think so then we then we try and leave, right? Yes, I'm going okay. to go up to her and be like, "Hi, uh, I might be interested in a pie. What what exactly is in these?" She she turns to you. She's like, "This looks like." Uh, just an old lady wrapped up in shawls, and she she looks over at you and goes, "Oh dear, dear, they're they're one gold per pie. They're they're just mince meat." I think what Riley kind would of kind meat? of. Uh, Hold on, oh, uh, Riley. Yeah, Riley would uh, would kind of follow up, be like, "Oh, I'll investigate too," but she actually wants to check out mm -hmm. the pies. <laughs> if, if Riley tries to order one, Amon will like cup a hand over her mouth and be like. What kind of meat? Yeah. yeah, she's like just about to ah, and then even just covers her mouth. Yeah. yeah <laughs> she smiles basically. and goes, oh, the best meat, the, the kind that will take you places. These pies, <laughs> these pies, they, they will br bring you great happiness. Great happiness. Amond will say in Infernal, I'm going to make an intimidation check for this. What? kind of meat. Oh, cool! <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> I will roll intimidation. Oh, shit, no. that's only a ten. Oh, she dude. smiles at you and goes, <laughs> the, <laughs> pork, of course. <laughs> Does she say that, Infernal? No, she's she, in Infernal. <laughs> she responds back in, <gasps> in, in common. But she recognizes Infernal, though. Very oh, interesting. Yeah. I got you! Eamon, 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 no, actually, Eamon actually does say, Oh, you speak Infernal, do you? <laughs> Many people do around here, dearie. That's not very, you know, out of the ordinary. Mm. Speak what now? Or at least don't. <laughs> she, like, looks at you. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Does the blood sense thing work on pie? I mean, there's no blood uh, left in the pie be, anymore. It has to be a living creature. Damn there's it. no blood left in the pies, guys. That's can, not... Can will, I make oh, an... oh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I would... Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Uh, can I can make, I make a, an insight a, check? Inve... Yeah. Yeah, an insight or investigation check. On sure. The, on the pie specifically. <laughs> like, I want to I wanna tell... I want to know if she's being truthful about the pie, basically. Oh, the, I, I'm good on insight, so let me do an insight check. Wee! No! <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you mind if I roll Even one? With, yeah. Go for it, please. <laughs> no okay. problem. 
My rules are bad. Okay, well, I guess I believe her. <laughs> you, you both well, think that I these are that. probably pork pies. Well, All right. Some, uh, yeah. It goes to Zelfine, who I imagine both of us have been like sort of hanging back at yeah. this point, right? Yeah. Zelfine, help! <laughs> you guys are kind of yeah, like no, over here. Should... Yeah. <laughs> Because feel no, free to I move yourselves really if necessary. To, he says if we really want to investigate the pies, the, I mean the the easiest course of action is just to buy one, and so we're not arousing suspicion from her. Yep. Amon, well, the thing if, is, now that Amon thinks they're pork, Amon actually will take out his coin purse, and um, <laughs> and he will buy a pie. All right. So you buy one of the pies, and she hands you one. It's little, still a little warm, and she's. Smiles goes. It will. It will definitely bring you your wildest dreams, my dear. Oh, thank you, thank you. Amen, Riley. We have someone to be, yeah. How much was that? One gold, please. One gold. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> quite expensive for a pie. I. These are very good pies. All right. I will. Yeah, I man. will pay up for the pie, though. All right. <laughs> Some now, good um, good pies. I was. I just want to. I just want to add that I was raised on an orc encampment, and orcs have very interesting diets, as mm -hmm. you might know. So mm -hmm. there's a chance, if this has maybe anything else in it, that I would realize that upon maybe examination. Ooh. Cool. So, yeah, she hands over <laughs> a pie, and she's, she goes, Would you like what too, dearie? I... Mm. At, at yeah, I think how big are the pies? How big are the pies? <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, Jobs got a thing. Yes, please. Yeah. At mm -hmm. that point, uh, Zelfine had kind of been like, she doesn't really give a shit about the pies, but she had seen Riley going over there, and she is a little bit suspicious of them. She wanted to just ignore the pies. So mm -hmm. uh, at that point, when Riley is asking about buying one, Zelfine is just like right there next to her and goes, "I think Amond has enough to share. I think we have enough pie, actually." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I will make sure yeah. you get a piece of this pie. Probably. Come on now. <clears throat> All right. Oh, okay. So well, she we'll, she we'll smiles. Come back later for more if we want. She smiles and turns and oh, continues yeah. to make her way down the road. Um, Amon taps her on the shoulder and and sort of whispers, "If I hear of any trouble, I will be back." And he says that in Infernal. Oh. She looks at you and goes, "Well, I'll be sure not to be here then." <laughs> and she oh God! Con continues down the road. <laughs> Let's crack open that pie. <laughs> okay, yeah, this uh, completely innocent pie. Yep. Uh, uh, Amen. As we're uh, moving back towards the entrance, the gate to the town, correct? Because Zelfie yes, and Brimson are ushering people that way. Yes, obviously. <laughs> Leading us. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna just Very go back so. the way we came. And does anyone have a dagger? Because I actually don't have anything to cut this pie with. Oh, <laughs> I have a dagger. Zelfine, yeah. I have like, a throwaway dagger. Assuredly has a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I she got, uses I got them. Daggers. Riley doesn't use her daggers, so you can okay. use it as a cutting so knife or Eamon, whatever. Eamon will cut the pie and, uh, and hand a slice to Riley. <laughs> Yay! Uh, does. Like, what does it smell like, or like... Oh, it uh... smells delicious and heavenly. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's, a, it's totally not a pie filled with tranquilizers and human meat. Uh... Are, we about to, are we about to willingly roofie a party member? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> don't, I, yeah, oh, no. We're about to willingly player, roofie like, two don't... party members. <laughs> because uh, Eamon is also not. going to... No, Eamon is no. also going to As... take a slice. As he hands Please. it to Riley, uh, Zophie's gonna kind of intercept and take the slice and say, Riley, don't be rude. It's Eamon's pie. He gets to try it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, Zophie! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> If you insist, his eyebrow has not left his forehead this entire time. <laughs> Eamon's, Eamon's... I'm assuming the whole party is suspicious of these pies, except maybe for Riley. Yeah. yeah. So, like... <laughs> Like, I kind of lift the, like, my, my hand is kind of shaking a little bit as I lift the slice to my mouth and take a little bite of it. I'm gonna need you to roll a constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, geez, it's really a shame that you had this barbarian who's proficient in constitution saving throws that you could have it's offered fine. the party, but no, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Even Okay, Ryan's it's not okay. fine. <laughs> oh, no! 
Okay, oh so a as you put the pie in your mouth, you see, well, you wouldn't see because he's got his helmet on. Or do you still have your helmet on? <laughs> yeah, you I, put I it back on. I have my helmet on. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're just shoving it under your helmet? <laughs> no, I, no, I, I, so, no, I do take it off to eat. I take it off to okay. eat. Okay. So I have one of those little flaps. <laughs> so yeah. as you stick it in your mouth, you see Eamon's eyes like start to glaze over and he just kind of stares and he is now in a trance. Oh no. Oh, good. Eamon. Slap him. Uh, you can, but give me one second to describe what Eamon sees. Do, yeah, go yeah. for it. Do I, do, I, do I recognize the taste at all? Like, is this human meat, basically? I, <laughs> well, I, have, I have eaten human meat before. Here's the thing. The second mm. you start eating it, your brain just kind of goes fuzzy for a second. And suddenly you don't see the street that you're on anymore. All that you oh, see is a, is a church filled with uh, tear uh, people. Smiling hey! and, and waving at you, going, "Oh, Amond, it is so good to see you today. Oh, Sir Amond, you have done great work." <laughs> and just like this everybody's is... fawning over you and like saying how this amazing is... you are. This is way nicer than everyone treats me. <laughs> exactly. Look, like, there, there's a woman hanging off your shoulder now and like what? smiling at you, going, "You're so brave, Sir Amond." Oh no. <laughs> Eamon's kind of, is, as he's is tripping Eamon on this in pie. real life blushing? Is but... he blushing that we can see? <laughs> yes! All, all you see is like this slack-jawed, dead-eyed look on his face. <laughs> Alright, can I, can I smack him one? Yes. Roll me and attack roll. Alright, all right. it's just a, it's just a strength which I'm proficient in. Yeah, I go I'm for it. Sure. Well, no, I'm, am I proficient in arm strikes? I don't think I I'm am. I'm pretty sure that he would have advantage because I'm completely mm. still. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I don't I'm just going to roll... slap someone without doing damage, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can do really? I can do 3 I'll do 3 points of damage. Right. I would prefer um... if you didn't, but okay. 21 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that'll hit. So you give him a hard smack and his face like jolts to the side and it like immediately f goes back into focus and he's like you Amid, you just suddenly are slapped right back into Barovia. And you're just, you immediately want to go back to that place that you were just in. <gasps> Jesus oh, no! Christ, what was in that pie? So what did you see? Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, just... <sighs> Is it like I've just woken up from something? Is that how it feels? Yeah, it, it's, it's like you've woken up from the best dream of your life and you just really want to go back into that dream. Oh no. It's just a lovely, lovely dream. And he kind of like goes for another bite and then sets it back down because it's not a good idea. But he kind of <laughs> wants to, but he knows it's not a good idea. Can I? Um, I just, maybe don't yeah. eat that or do. It's really, okay. mm, maybe, mm, don't eat Can it. Can Brimstone <laughs> take the bit of pie that, Brim, that Eamon had and like finish it off? Yeah. Sticky Don't your... roll, me. roll me a constitution can saving I, throw, please. Can I can I willingly fail this? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> really really quickly, as Sophie's like watching all this happen, she had Riley's piece in her hand and she's just kinda like gonna tip her hand and like let it fall to the ground and just be like, Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god! Great. Just, sorry. Just, yeah. I'm imagining she just grabs she just grabs the Bless rest you, of the Sophie. pie and just it Steps on it, grabs the rest of the pie. Just oh, oh no! There's, it's all gone. I don't know what happened. Great, it's all gone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So brimstone, as you eat the pie, you too feel the oh, no, sensation no. of your brain fogging over, and suddenly you're in a nice village, and you see other tieflings wandering around, and one smiles and waves at you, calls you by a name that you haven't heard in a very long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything okay. is oh, fine, yeah. and everything is happy. Nobody's gone. Okay. They're all there. All right, I was curious. My curiosity is sated. <laughs> oh, no! And so now you've got Brimstone kind of limply staring off into the distance. Uh, in this Amon, trance. Slap him! <laughs> Riley yells. Uh, Eamon is going to slap him. Yep, okay. <laughs> slap him awake. Listen, my I'm AC not gonna is do any like damage. 15. I'm not gonna do any damage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. That's a 20. Yeah, that you give him a hard yep. slap in his face again, fades back into uh, into Ooh. the consciousness. And Eamon, no, as you're like not. thinking about the taste, you, you know something is definitely off about that pie. That wasn't pork. <laughs> that, that wasn't pork. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, that was not pleasant. No. Not good. That's, um, I Aww. wouldn't eat any. Don't. That was, um, well, that was. It's all on the <laughs> ground now. No, anyway, we should leave. Was... Yes? Yeah, yeah. Please. Also, maybe, like, because that. I'm like, what percentage would you say I'm sure that that pie was, like, man flesh? Oh, you are 90% sure. <laughs> I'm like. 90% sure that that pie was man flesh. Oh, I'll tell you ah! what, if it works for if it, if it works for you and made you what? Like what did, what did what did you see? I was I didn't I was in a church and everyone was telling me how great I am and ah. nobody was mad at me or 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 turning away from me in disgust. And um, it was real. It was real nice, and everyone was really nice to me. And I just, and then Eamon kind of trails off and, and and says and like puts his helmet back on. Is like we should go. We should go. So something Ooh. happy for you then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What did so you see, Brad? Because... I didn't see anything important. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole! You asshole! You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Insight check me then. Do it. Do it. Do it. I fucking will. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> you I haven't have, seen my have... deception skill yet. <laughs> wow. I haven't. Wait. No. I'm sorry. I was rolling with advantage. I should not be. Let me roll again. That's uh, a zero. The, roll. The, we'll use the. Whenever that happens, roll the first one. So. Oh yeah. Well, in that That's case, a I got a zero. zero. In that case, I got a zero. <laughs> Okay, then I know what what's up. You know you that you know that you know that I am lying about not having seen anything important. Yeah. Mm. But you also know that I... he really does not want to talk about it. Okay, I I will I I won't go further about it, but I will give up squinty eyes. Mm. Should we? Anyway, we should be further. leaving. Yes. Should Listen, we... hey, Amon, if if those pies make people happy, then. Is she really doing any harm? They are made of man flesh. She there's is getting that people. from somewhere. Yeah, there's lots of evil people. I, she is almost <laughs> definitely kidnapping people and turning their bones into pie. That like, sounds like, like you're, am, uh, you're making a bit of a, a logical leap there, I think. She was a fiend. <laughs> yeah. Brimstone. <laughs> Brimstone, please. <laughs> Like, so please, I, Amy, if this place is anything like that house, it's a shithole. You know what? If people, if, Someone else's you know problem. Maybe she's, operating, maybe she's making people happy. Sounds like some people you know could what? use happiness. You know what? Maybe you're right. And unintentionally wanna... becoming cannibals? I, yeah, like, this is... We should really stop her. <laughs> like... That's kind of messed up to me. But I don't know. I don't want to stick my foot in it. I... I'd rather see if we can leave first. Yeah, me too. I, I, I guess. There, there, there are <laughs> other adventurers that can deal with this. Yeah. It's fine. Eamon is still kind of coming off of the pie. <laughs> the pie high. The pie high. That y y you still like crave that pie. In the back no, of your mind, no. you crave oh, no. it. But I know it's human flesh. I know it's human flesh. Yeah, but the part of you still wants it. Really to, push, to push those good feelings as far down as he can. Yep. Yeah, I, Aemid is gonna. Aemid is very good at hiding his feelings. Um, Grimson is not, but he tries anyway. <laughs> Aemon is. So you know what? It's yeah. Let's leave this place and never come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Adventure over. Adventure yeah. over. <laughs> Credits roll. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Right. Yep. Not so we, like we we make our way back to the gate uh, that we we made our mm -hmm. that we got it down through. Yeah, the you, you make your way that way, and you see like the path heading up in front of you. There is you know, mist hanging in the air, but the fog that had chased you is not quite as like near. You can see it off in the distance, and off you go on to. Let me just copy paste everybody. <laughs> I 
I, I, I enjoy that one of the character decisions I made for Brimstone is that he enjoys discovering new tastes. Yeah. <laughs> That's just great. Like, he'll just eat anything. He'll eat anything. Great, and I love it. human flesh, apparently. <laughs> <Good> character. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Even human flesh. He'll do it. I, like, I shouldn't talk because, like I said, he was raised in an orc clan, so... Mm -hmm. Aemon has definitely eaten human flesh before. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. So uh, we're off. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> so you, as you turn to leave the town behind you, you just start heading down that road, and you notice that it seems slightly different than the last time you wandered down this way. It's, oh no! Oh. It seems to be a bit longer. You, like the the gate seemed a lot closer that you entered on your way in. It seems way far off. Ooh. Guys, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, I've never been to uh, Kansas. Uh, I, I, I say Faerun instead of Kansas. <laughs> yes. Does that oh, yeah, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah, Briley, uh, Zelfina, are you also from Faerun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Interesting. Well, no need yeah. to try any more than that. Uh, hopefully yeah. we can all find a way home, collectively. Hey, Zelfin, can you just explain your backstory in excruciating detail? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we just- why don't we just info dump now? Why not just info dump now? Yeah. Okay, it's almost over anyway. <laughs> We're about to leave Barovia, it'll be fine. It'll be yeah, definitely yeah. fine. <laughs> How long are we walking for before we realize that this path isn't going anywhere? Well, let me just double check how far away the gates actually are. It's 400 miles. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 400 miles of shitty, shitty walking in silence. Yep. Good content. <laughs> awkward, <laughs> awkward silence. Because it's like, <laughs> we're still like, we just met. So it's just like, mm. <laughs> so, so the, are the village up, is they? here. <laughs> And the gates are all the way over here. So with the scale being one square is a quarter mile, that's... It invites a beach, charity, purchase, and boss, and give it to you, so that's... So that's like three miles and change. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So it's like, like a ten minute maybe. walk or so. Yeah. Huh? So it's you make, walk. make your way over that way, and you end up back at the gates that you entered. Like 30 minute walk, I apologize. Yeah. 10 it, minute walk is like 30 okay. minutes. It, it's like 30 minute minutes, yeah. You get there, <laughs> and the the gate is locked shut. You push on it and nothing happens. Is there any so, way around it? No. It's I was just gonna say, good big... thing we got a rogue. Eh? <laughs> Want to take a crack uh, at it, Zelfie? Yeah, Brimstone's gonna punch the gate and then stand back and say, "If you can." <laughs> uh, yeah, she'll I'll take a, always... she'll take a crack Sorry. at uh, picking that lock if she can. <clears throat> yeah, go for but it. But I was like, our first option <laughs> is to punch it. <laughs> I see you're learning the aim in school of lock picking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Mm. A lock can't do anything if the door is removed from its hinges. <laughs> I mean, you, you can surely try. <laughs> Punch a shit out of them. <laughs> Come on, pick the lock, Zelfine. Hey, Not it's right! So Watch this! Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you get your thieves tools in there and you think that you can get it to open, but it like clinks back into place awkwardly and you don't know why. Oh, magic! Oh, lovely. Oh, good, more magic bullshit. <laughs> I did not expect this in any way. No, yeah, no, that's basically totally what, what Zelfine says when it fails. She's just like, got it, and then you hear the clink and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So, uh... And there's no way, like, no. And everything around it is, like, it's completely impassable from either side. Yeah. It's just, okay. we, uh, it looks like you sh would be able to get around, but there just is no, like, clear path, and the the mist kind of hangs awkwardly 
around it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not willing to touch the mist. That stuff seems well, sentient, and right. Yeah, bad. Yeah, I, bad stuff. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. we're trapped in hell, like actual hell. <laughs> oh yeah, until, no! Come on. I guess until we can find somebody who can get this out of here. I mean. Well, didn't we have a windmill to check on and possibly a pie cellar to maybe apprehend? Windmills are used to grind grain. Wouldn't it be wild if they were connected? <laughs> it would be yeah. super wild, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should go check on that windmill. That 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 uh, that uh, that Rose's last wish was that we check on it. Where was that? Oh yeah. Zelfin, do you remember where that was? Uh, you take better notes than me. Oh, I actually on the remember from the, the top castle. of my head. There it yeah, is. it was by God's castle. Ooh. It was on the that other side like of bad. Strahd's castle. Other yeah. side. That, can that we, can like we see that from here? Uh, oh. not, not clearly. Or could we have seen it? Could we have seen it on our way on our walk over? Mm, let me just double check. It would be a, a bit of a trek, so you might not have seen it a hundred percent. Well, we'll stop back in the mm. village on our way and maybe get another pie. Yeah, it's oh. So, like, on the map, <laughs> on the map, it's all the way over here. Uh, if this will <laughs> load. Yeah, there we go. Amos just wants every excuse to get another pie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all the way Where's over that? there. Where? Over here? there. Uh, let me, I will ping it as well. Yeah. It's this, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's the windmill. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And then Strahd's castle yeah. is over this way. So you mostly see Strahd's castle from the village and trees. You don't That'll... see the windmill when you were in the village. It'll be like oh. a, a day-long trek, I guess. Maybe Probably. two days. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really we don't really know the territory. We don't really have any gauge yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah. I think it's good yeah. if we go and try and get a map from the sh from yeah. the town. Duh. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Hopefully there's that sounds good. you know. So, I mean, if that pie cellar was there, there were living people in the town, presumably, yeah? That is true. Oh, yeah. You did so, see at Aemond... least one person being sold a pie. Okay. Aemond will, um, suggest that we all go back to the, uh, to the town and get a map. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds go good. to the town and get a map. Mm -hmm. So... Yep, I mean, if we're yeah. gonna be here, we might as well know what it looks like. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. As you start heading back that way, do you notice that, like, the daylight is starting to go? Even though there wasn't oh, no. really that much daylight to begin with, because it was all clouded over with clouds, but it is definitely getting darker as you make your way back to the village. Uh, should we maybe head for in? Because I don't no. want to travel in this land at night. I suppose. It's not sounding like a good idea. The, the <laughs> inn will probably have a map, too. Yeah. yeah. And maybe some drinks and maybe more pies. Eh? <laughs> maybe let's... I don't know if it's such a good idea. I I think it's best if, for now, I just try and forget about what home was like. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are killing me. Y'all are killing me, slowly. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to an inn. Alright, so you make your way back to the village. Eamon's crying just a little bit under his helmet. Oh, stop it! Stop <laughs> it! Never. <laughs> you're you're a bad man. Gonna move so you. Where? Yeah. yeah. Where's Actually, the nearest inn? Probably the most good. So yeah, as, that's true. as you re-enter, you you notice that there is lights on over here, and over here. Mm. Well then, I think it's best so we go over here. Yeah, so you you see that mm -hmm. this place down here is a shop that is called Bilthreld Merc Mercantile, and then up here is what looks to be a tavern. I want to check out the mercantile. Let me yeah, let me, me too. let me look. Yee! All right, let's go shopping, Amos. I don't Yay! think I have any money on me, and that's fine. I got uh, some money. You you have, have things to well, sell. So. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah! Oh right! Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to, like, MacGyver the, the orb onto my staff. You can try, maybe. <laughs> can, can she do that? 
Can I mend I, it on? Mm, I don't know if I can mend it on there. I put some duct tape on there. <laughs> some mending magic duct tape. <laughs> Well, I was thinking yeah. if we like, we can like, sp if we split the end of the staff and then have the orb sort of mend around it, or like have it mend around the orb, yeah. would that yeah. work? I don't see why not. <gasps> Wee! So da -da -da -da. can she have like a cool wizard staff with an orb on the end now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if that's yeah. what nice. she's doing, I, I, I figure that will take about 10 minutes. Maybe you do that on your way back into town. Oh yeah, probably when we're walking. I'm just like doing some magics in the back. Mm -hmm. Eamon's kind of invested <laughs> in it. He's very happy yeah. about it. Yeah. Awesome. Wait. Now I got an okay. orb stay. I have a protection okay. from poison scroll, just in case we do need to deal with those pies again. <laughs> nice. I don't think it was poison as much. Yeah. Anyway, Does it, like, like give you an advantage on con saves, or what? I have no idea. <laughs> you gotta scroll, though. That's <laughs> good. Okay, yeah, you might want to shop. look that up. So you enter into shop. this sh shop, and it's th there's sparse light in the building that spills out from behind a drawer, like drawn heavy curtains, and there's a sign over the door that says that it, it's Birkendale's mer uh, Mercantile. You wander in, and th there's a, a little portly man standing behind a counter, and he looks at you and smiles this like big shit eating grin and goes. Ah, we have new people in town, it seems. What can I do for you? Amond <laughs> will uh, approach the, uh, the approach the man and nod and say, um, "We have a few things that we'd like to trade. Uh, what are you? What are you? Can, do you mind if I look at your wares?" Hmm. I don't see why not. If you've got the coin for it, I'm appreciated of all people that wander through here. Mm-hmm. You have a map? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be useful. <laughs> he smiles and goes, <laughs> A map? Of course we have maps. All kinds of adventurers come through here. At least, you know, until they die. They all die in the end. You know, that is uh, not really the greatest way to retain a customer base, I would imagine, <laughs> opening with that. So... I mean, it sounds like a steady flow of people. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Everyone comes here. It, you know, I get their money in the end anyways. Well, <laughs> you know that old house. Uh, do people ever come out of that alive? <laughs> the old Thirst House? That place is haunted. Everybody that goes in dies. If they die... Amen is, Amen is going to pull out the D to the windmill and lay it on the counter and then smirk. He looks at it and goes, huh. Well, but you look at that. And then he's going to put it back in his pocket. So, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, do you have any maps? All right, good sir. That's good sir. Let's get to you our map. He wanders over and gets a map off the shelf and puts it down and goes, Hmm, ten silver. Ten silver for map. Okay. And now, the, the book with the wizard spells, do I know what spells are in it? Um... Uh... I didn't tell you because mm. I didn't think it was important. <laughs> well, I, <it's laughs> I, would, so uh, I didn't write it down because nobody here is a wizard. <laughs> well, no, but That's I would like to re-up my sanguine scent. Just as a note. Sorry, what? I would like to re-up my sanguine scent. Is he uh, human? He's human. Mm. He is just a Tight. normal human person. <laughs> okay, awesome. so he's just he's just a, he's just a, a jerk. A, a, yeah, Eamon, he's, a jerk. he's just an asshole. Eamon, yeah. Eamon will place the three j green stones, and now the iron devil pendant. Did that rust? Uh, no, it didn't, because you got that in the basement, I believe. But yeah, yeah the, the 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 wizard spells that that book contains is disguise self, identify, mage armor, magic missile, protection from good and evil, dark Wait, vision, I identify, hold... mage Ooh. armor, magic missile. Sorry. Magic, missile, protection from good and evil. Mhm. Mm Dark vision. Yeah. Hold person. Yeah. Invisibility, and magic weapon. Yeah, but none of us can use spells. that book, right? Yeah. Well, you because we're not can, I think as a you can as a scroll, I think. Yeah. I'd have to double check that. Be, I don't actually know. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if sorcerers can use wizard books. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think raw that I don't think that rules is written. Uh, you can use like stuff out of a wizard spellbook, but it depends on what Leanne wants to do. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to Riley I for for now. Uh, I'll give it okay. to Riley for now, just to hold okay. on to and maybe study a little bit because she's knows magic stuff. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna put the three green stones as well as the gold. The gold ring wasn't magical, right? No, it was just a gold no, the, ring. And I'll, okay, I'll put the three green stones and the gold ring down on his uh, counter. He, How much he, for this? He looks at it. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute, and I will I will calculate how much that is. So. Uh, oh, did, did our the... did our crossbows all rust and stuff? Uh, they got oh. a little like dirty, but they were not. They didn't completely disintegrate like other stuff did. Like okay, my gotcha. It, how's Zelfine's silver sword? It is that great. Is it's perfect. Thing. Yeah, it, it because yeah, it right. Was it, okay, because that, that was in the basement. Okay, yeah. silvered. Pretty also. much everything that was in the basement was taken off of adventurers. So, oh, okay, gotcha. Everything in the above floors were stuff made by the house. So, sorry, what did uh, you rip. all put in onto the table? Could you write that down? Three green stones and the gold ring. Okay. Let me just double check that because I don't actually have my notes from the death house open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. This is all new. That, that's okay. Ten plus. Gold was down in the prison. To be honest, I feel bad. I don't think I grabbed anything else from the house to sell. All right. I hope. <laughs> so I, I, I I tried to keep notes, but I I, I think I might have lost track on my route. Yeah. But no, I think I got it. <laughs> uh, do a, we do a better job from now on to writing down what everything's I, worth for me at least. Sorry, <laughs> no. you, you didn't tell us at the time. No, no, I'm ta saying that to me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what? <laughs> Say that to me. I should write down this shit. <laughs> but we're all we're all trying to write down this shit. <laughs> yep. So he looks at it and goes, "Hmm, I give you twenty-seven gold for this." Hmm. Can you throw on the map? He looks. I do not bargain. Twenty-seven gold. I ooh, raise him. Yeah, yeah, and the map is ten silver. Aben will <laughs> sigh and then Amen. he'll 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 pay the one gold back for the map. Because <laughs> that's ten silver, oh, right? Wait, yeah. can I make a persuasion? Yeah, because I'm it. I'm I'm all about selling stuff. Uh, so I'm like, you also might want to do an then. insight to know if this is actually what that's worth. Oh. Okay, okay, I'll yeah, roll an insight. Okay, 23. Okay, oh, you know that he's, oh, okay, like, here. giving you half of what this is worth. Eamon will, Eamon will remove his helmet and lean over the counter and say, Look, I wasn't born yesterday. That's, what, half of what this is worth? You can, come on. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can give us a little more and still make a profit when you sell it to someone else. Riley <laughs> sidles up next to him and adds a, come on. <laughs> that's it. That's nice like... assist. Ten out of ten assist. Yeah, that's um, my uh, assist for advantage. I realize I realize you can't do full price, but come on, I you can you can still give us a little more and 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 sell and sell it back to someone for a profit. He looks down come at on. the stuff, looks up at you, and goes, "It's not just you know value of the things; it is the the value of resale. Nobody wants stuff like this, you know, supply demand. It's the way things. Is he bullshitting me? I mean, it's a little like, bit. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, you don't expect a place like this would have much use to sell these Aim kinds of size. things. How about 30 gold and the map for this stuff? He looks at you and goes, then, fair deal, fair deal. Nice. Okay, so that's the green stones and the uh, gold rings sold. Yep. And uh, he's yep. also going to take out the iron devil pendant and say, does this mean anything to you? He looks at it. He goes, it's the devil. I don't know. Mm. I don't know shit about no devil. <laughs> except for devil strawed up in his castle. That's all I know. Do you, what do you, do you know about him? 
Yeah. Rem some pipes he up keeps from the corner. He's been silent. What do you know about mm -hmm. Devil Strahd? He laughs. Yeah, we've heard his the name a lot around here. <laughs> you don't know about Strahd. Oh, yes, I suppose you are new in town. Enlighten yes. me. He's a vampire. Yeah. He draws up at that castle. No one's allowed up there. No one. We send our taxes. He stalks around, takes our women. It's the way of things. We got used to it. Uh, excuse me. A vampire. Wait. Wait a minute. A no, no, vampire? No, 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 no. Hold on. Amen. He takes our women. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they just wander up there. You know, crazy women trying to go see the great devil stride. Oh, no. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Mad Mary's daughter ran up there not too long ago. You'll never Wait, see her again. Mad Mary lives Mad down Mary. the street. Crazy old broad kept her daughter locked up all the time, so she ran away. Oh, she's never coming back. Hmm. Well, that all sounds that... very, very interesting. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying that sarcastically. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk to you. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> Amon, Amon is gonna pull out his his chain shirt, and the iron devil pendant, and the eye patch with the green gems with the gems. No, no, no you gave the chain shirt to me. Oh, yeah. That is yeah. my oh, right, yeah. yeah, I exactly. forgot. Oh yeah, and I have the eye patch. I forgot about that. Oh, you have the eye patch? Yeah, yeah. and I think you also have the hairbrush. Oh yeah, oh, you definitely right. have the silver hairbrush. And now I'm gonna pull out a, the scroll of spiritual weapon and say. Now this is something really rare, but I'm looking for something very specific. Do you have any mm. armor? He looks at you. Mm. <laughs> armor, you say? What kind of armor, armor are you looking for? Something a little better than this, and he gestures to his, like, beat-up plate ma uh, chain mail. He snorts. Mm. I'm not exactly rolling an armor here. <clears throat> Do you know anyone around here who is? In town? No. No, nobody sells armor. No one sells anything in town but me. I'm the only one who sells anything. So hmm. I'm assuming that means you don't have any splint mail. <laughs> <laughs> splint mail? Are you mad? That is... No. No. No splint mail in my town. In my... My store. Whatever. <laughs> he is... He is gonna... He is gonna say how much for the scroll. Actually, you know what? Like, are you selling? The church? Yeah. I'll throw in the hairbrush. I'll throw in the hairbrush too. No, you you want to keep that hairbrush for if we come across any werewolves, any grooming. Oh my gosh, that's right. I'm definitely gonna keep the eye patch though. Um, for no reason. Uh, for no reason. No point. is going to. Amon is going to ask. Would the clerics? have any need of something like this well th there's only one one person there is the priest Pr priest donovich he, he might i don't know he hasn't left the church in ages hmm. Hmm. well maybe we ought to go see this priest donovich maybe uh tomorrow huh? amen we uh we got to uh, head indoors for the night. Right, right. Let's rest for the night, and then we'll see what happens. Were Were there any um, like uh, sewing materials at that shop? Oh yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Let me have a look. Because Riley would definitely be like snooping around, looking for like some of that good, good clothing. Then you see like some clothes, some night, some like tattered. Well, not tattered, but like plain-looking clothes mm -hmm. and some slightly nicer-looking clothes, but no like sewing supplies or anything. Bummer. Okay. She she's not too interested. Eh. No, it's 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 fine. It's it's okay. She was kind of like looking forward to going to town and like <laughs> shopping, but now she's kind of like disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Anyways. I'm taking just a hot minute to look through the list of stuff, because there's a lot of stuff that he could have, but it's all, oh, like, bet. adventuring gear stuff. <laughs> Actually, do you have a shovel? A shovel. Yes, I do have shovel. I think I might, actually. He looks Hold at on, you. let me check. He goes, 
Yeah, I got this shovel. It's 20 gold. 20? For, <laughs> for, for a shovel? A shovel. <laughs> Excuse me! It's still Amen, amazing. if we have to, I'll dig with my hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. I think we're good. If people want things I think badly we enough, earn. they'll pay my price. It's the way it thinks. Eamon will lower his eyelids and put his helmet back on and just leave. This man's a rip-off yeah. artist. We're done here. He sure is. I mean, if he's the only, if he's the only uh, seller in town, he can do what he wants, I suppose. Well, maybe we should open a business and run him out of this. Oh, yeah, supply and demand. Really supply and demand. Idea. <laughs> that we would, be, we would be super good at Eamon. I can see you and I running a shop really, really well. I am very persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> Grocery shop at you. Brimstone gestures to himself. <laughs> Fair enough. And then Eamon oh. is going to go to the to the inn across the street. So you, yeah. you wander Let's over go. and and you see that it's more of a tavern than a an actual inn. He is oh. going to regardless approach yeah, we're the bar inside. Yeah, and, and ask yeah, if they have any. Yeah, let's have a drink. Yeah, they have any rooms available. Uh, let me just double check. I don't actually know if there's rooms in here. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No, y you wander in and you see that the the it it's not a very big tavern, but there's a couple of people hanging out by the side, and someone tending bar behind the bar there, and then one. I handsome looking man sitting in the corner Drink. would my sanguine scent still be up at this point or has it been 10 minutes uh i've mm, probably not okay i'd like to re-up it uh do i get any a sense of anybody in the room besides humans they are all human uh how boring good i know it's great right <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put them all on the map because they are sitting on the GM layer too. <sighs> layer. Token. They all need to be on the token layer. Oh, these lovely drunks. Yeah, they're great, right? Hello, drunks. <laughs> Hello, drunks. Hello, Hello drunks. will ask if they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> Amon will ask if there are rooms there, though. Mm -hmm. Well, as you walk up to, like, the barkeep, he's just, like, dead-eyed, looking off into space as he's cleaning his cups. He cleans one cup, puts it down, cleans another cup, puts it down, and looks at- Oh, man, same. <laughs> <laughs> and a as you ask for rooms, he just looks at you and goes, no rooms. Wine. One coffer. Jug of wine. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I go on this and I don't actually have it loaded up yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One pitcher. One silver piece. And it just keeps He'll cleaning. Put down a... He'll put down a silver piece and say, one pitcher. Do you know where we could find, like, a inn or something? Well, as you go to put your money down, the handsome man in the corner gets up and walks over and goes, D Don't worry about it. I I'll pay for you. And he puts down a silver p or the silver piece. Come to my table. Ooh. He smiles at you, and it's like the first, you, first friendly smile you've seen since you got there. This He's hitting on you, Eamon. <laughs> He, he gestures oh, at all of you. you. Does Riley? Does Riley say that? Please tell me Riley says that. No, no. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. What's? Pray tell. What is your name? He smiles. Hold on. Are we all gonna? Are we all just going over to his table now? Yeah. Is absolutely. He, he's I, super I friendly. Think I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? Yeah. He does say that out loud. <laughs> He's hitting on you! <laughs> and, and then she, he like looks at you and smiles again and goes, Well, aren't you a precious little one? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Brimstone goes to Zelf and he whispers, He's hitting on Riley too. <laughs> <laughs> 
She like puts her hood down a little bit more. <laughs> Aim is just gonna go over to his table and, and be nice. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go over to his table. Yeah, all right. <laughs> He, he waves you over, and you all sit down, and brings the pitcher over, and, like, pours you each a glass. He goes, you are new in town. I haven't seen anyone quite like you. Well, I've seen people like you two before. He, like, points at the two tieflings of the group. Someone like you wandered by here not too long ago, actually. But... Oh, no. Really? Yeah. He, really? He, they, uh... he didn't stay too long. Where'd he go? Mm-hmm. He went off to Velaki, I believe. Velaki. Uh, I'm assuming we can refer to our map and, and know where that is, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You, you... Zelfine, Zelfine, where is Velaki on the map? Well, I have the... Okay, fine. I'll give the <laughs> map to Zelfine. I'll give the map to Zelfine. I include our other party members, Damon. Zelfine... <laughs> 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 Zelfine is staring at this guy and like not taking her eyes off of him as she map and unfurls it and she'll like barely glance down long enough to just see Velaki and then like look back up and keep staring at him and just point at it and be like it's there and yeah. just kind of like show it to Brim. Yeah. <laughs> and just okay. keep her eyes on this guy. <laughs> okay. You, you see it on like the far end of Barovia kind of up in the corner there. Uh, well, and maybe he goes, after we check off the windmill. He... Uh, just one sec. Kind of curious. Taking bad though. notes for this because I'm rushed and I didn't know where you guys were going. Oh, so, no. <laughs> anyways, he, he smiles at you. Goes, my name is Ismark. Uh, who might you all be? Amen. Some, by the way, hasn't touched his his drink like at all up until this point. Yeah, I think Riley took a sip because she's dumb. Well, it, it, Ismark is sipping on his drink too. Is he looks around mm-hmm. you. I will also. Eamon will also sip his drink. We're My name is Eamon. I'm Riley. Uh, nice to meet you. It's not too often we get ones come out of the 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 haunted house on the road there. Often people just are killed. You oh, must be. Yeah, that. well, <laughs> it, it was a close one for us too. So. Mm. Where did you hear that, Ismar? Well, someone saw you leave the house, and they mm. told me. I bet... Small town? It's a small town with not many people. In fact, many of the houses here are empty. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Well, Oh, I guess they're all not... going up to Strahd's it's... place or whatever. It's not too weird. We have been suffering for a long time, and... People die, and we don't have a bunch to replace them. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we heard from uh, what was his name? The the uh, Eamon, the asshole who uh, was trying to uh, uh, cheat you out of coin in the in the, mer- the, the merchant. merchant. Yeah. Merchant. Yeah. What was his name? We heard from him that uh, uh, adventurers come through here often, and they usually end up dying. Oh. As we almost have. So you talked to Bill Rath oh. Cantemir. Oh. He is quite the character, is he not? He's an asshole. That's yes, yes, he is he is quite <laughs> yeah. quite the asshole. But he is yeah. the only one in town that sells things, so he does as he pleases and there's nothing my father could have done for it and there's nothing I can do for it. I am sorry. Your father Your fa- could have. You my, said could have. Uh-huh. He- couldn't have done much. He tried. My father did try. My father, he was the burgomaster of this land. He's oh. no longer with and us. Did... Mm. Oh. Sorry to hear that. My condolences yeah, and, and that Grimstone loss. is going to toast him and take a sip. But yes, <laughs> adventurers do tend to roam through here and they often are not seen from again. Unfortunately, Ooh. this land is so this other not... tiefling. Hmm? So the oh, tiefling yeah. uh, came here alone, or with a group of adventurers? He came here alone. I do not know where he came from. He told me, and ah. it seemed that I have never heard of such a place before. Somewhere called Zent. I have never heard of it. Yeah, me neither. Uh, nor have I. Yeah. There's nowhere like that on the uh, 
Well, we're from another place you've probably ne- never heard of called Faerun. Faerun. I believe I've heard of someone say Faerun, but I have never... Oh. would never have seen it myself. I, have I assume here. you are all trapped here as we are. <laughs> as everyone is. Even the devil Strahd up in his castle is trapped here. Is there That's anyone us. who can leave at all? Well, the Vistani can leave. They are special. Mm. But don't don't expect mm. to get much favors from them. They they play by their own rules. We mm. Fortunately enough, I think uh, I do as well. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. But yes, the tiefling he came and then he left with a raven on his shoulder. I do not know why. Mm. And he said he was heading mm. to Valaki, and I have not seen him since. Uh, well, I think uh, we're going to be resting, hopefully, <clears throat> for the night soon. Um, do you know anywhere we can do that? I can take you to my mm. place, the Burgermaster's Mansion. You oh! Can, but if I let you stay with us for the night, I would like you to do perhaps a favor for me. Of course. Uh, well, this is how these things work. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a couple things we need to take care of. Um, hopefully that'll be on the way. Yes, well, yeah. we, me and my sister, we are planning to head to Velaki, and we need protection. Adventurers, especially ones that could get through that house. You must be strong enough to hold your own. Well, I don't mean to brag, but... <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sister. We have a very, a very powerful mage with us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I actually do have, I do have a question. Um, yes. When he says, um, when he says uh, powerful enough to get through the house, I'm actually curious, Brimstone is going to look over, what does, a, how does Zelfine respond to that? I'm curious. Uh, Zelfine is just, she's completely ignoring her wine, by the way. She's just watching him carefully, and a single eyebrow raises when he says that. And she kind of just like, looks over at Brim to like meet his eyes for a moment before looking back at this. Can I insight check that to figure out what she's trying to tell me? Can I insight check that? <laughs> insight that, yeah. Good. <laughs> Get ready for my plus zero to insight. Here we go. Ha! Eleven! <laughs> Tell me all your secrets. Nice! <laughs> Tell me your secrets, Zelfine. <laughs> <laughs> Zelfine's, Zelfine's was a look of, she's very suspicious of this guy, but she, it was also kind of a look of, oh, strong enough to get out of that house. Right. That's <laughs> us. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yep. Just, just, yeah. Let's not mention just, how bad we struggled. <laughs> well, I, was just curious, I was just curious what, I think Brimson would have been curious what she thought of that specific uh, attachment to our, like, sort of a, a claim about our abilities. Yeah, well, okay, well, so yeah. let's just uh, <laughs> let him think that. Mm-hmm. As he oh, looks over you two, he goes, but nobody else has come out of the house. I haven't, anyone who enters, I have not seen exit. You are the first. Yeah, yeah, we're great. We're we're so good. And she just sips her wine. <laughs> just sort of like looking left and right, like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's great. We're super good. Super good guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in need well, of a place to stay for tonight, so. Yeah. It's not what that's you all very think. sweet of you to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Sounds good to me. Yes, well... Yeah, thank you so much for offering. You must come and we will meet my sister. Mm. Yeah, sounds good. That's the problem. I was like, why can't I click on anything? I was on the wrong layer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just... There is a few things Eamon, Eamon wants to take care of uh, in in the morning, though. Well, of that's course. Still morning. This is still night. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're I know. still... Just... I don't know when we're taking that rest. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Soon. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, you finish your drinks and 
Mm -hmm. the, the three people in the corner kind of watch you as you exit, and he starts leading you down south. Brimstone's mm -hmm. gonna like leave his half empty. He's not gonna drink much. I think Riley would finish her glass, but she would be Amen. really anxious of those people Absolutely staring at her. Absolutely needs a drink. <laughs> Brimstone, yeah. offers him the, Brimstone offers him the other half of his drink. <laughs> he Yay! drinks that as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yep. But yeah, I, he like so like when Riley. Like, Riley kind of looks at the people staring back. Do they, like, kind of react to me looking at them, or...? They, they just, like, you know that they're looking at you, but they just don't, like, they look immediately right back at their stuff, uh, at their desk. <laughs> they just, like, they're glancing okay. over at you every so often, and they know that you're looking at them, and you know that they're looking at that, you know. Anxiety rises. You know okay, that they know. It. They, do, they 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 watch you carefully as you exit. What do they look like? <laughs> are they just like you know General Joe Schmoes? Oh, yeah. They are dressed a little oddly compared to a couple of the other patrons. They are more colorfully dressed. It's like little tassels and colors that don't seem appropriate even for this kind of place. Yeah, Brimstone will ask, uh, will ask, ask Isaac about them. No, Isaac? Who's Isaac? <laughs> Isaac's here. Sorry. This is Ismark. Uh, what was his name? Ismark. Ismark. Pardon me. Ismark. <laughs> same. Nope, you're right. It's, yep. it's Ismark. He will ask Ismark about them. Ah, uh, they, they own this place. They're, they're Vistani. The moment he hears that, he's going to get up and walk over oh. to them. <laughs> oh no. He goes, eh, wait, is <gasps> <laughs> he just kind of watches right you, back. and he like sticks his hands on his face. Goes, oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that bad? Is that bad? He is just bad to talk to him? Let, let Brimstone work his charisma. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so they they glance okay. at you as they walk over. What do you want? Are you going to pay I'm your told. bill? You pay your bill. You're good. Yes, my drink was uh, paid for by. Uh... Uh, that man over there. Tell me. Um, <laughs> <It's Mark. laughs> mm, tell me. Uh, and this is this is going to sound probably a crazy question. Do you know a way out of here? They look at each other, all three of them, and they like smirk and they start laughing. <laughs> of course, we know a way out. What Vistani? It's not the way for you, though. You cannot leave that way. You're not Vistani. What do I have to do to make it a way out for me? And the rest of these people? They all look at each other again and they like shake their head because you're not Vistani. It will not work. I, Eamon will walk up to them and be like, are you sure that you can't like make the an exception? <laughs> the mist will not let you leave. You're not Vistani. Unless you have Vistani blood in you, then you cannot leave. Then, eyes blazing with uh, this sort of intensity, Brimson will say, Then what do I have to do to make the mist let me leave? They look at each other again. How are we supposed to know that? Who controls the mists? No one controls the mists. Can I inside check that? Sure. Hmm. Hey, 13, not bad. 13. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not sure if, you don't think they're lying. They, they don't, at least you, they, you don't think that they think they're lying. They think that nobody controls the mists. It's just the way it is. Well, I will have to find someone with better information then. Come, Eamon, we should go. I was gonna ask you to, okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you want the wine. Will do. Yeah, sounds good. Bye. <laughs> she, yeah. All right. So Ismark leads you out and mm -hmm. starts walking down southwards down this road here. Yeah. Move the map. And as you're walking past the... Uh, <laughs> the shop and a few other places you hear like 
muffled crying coming from one of the houses. And it, Ismar kind of looks sadly over at it and kind of shakes his head and keeps walking. Mad Mary? Wait. Yeah, what was that? Is that <laughs> Mad Mary? That's... I ask Ismar. He, he looks down at you, kind of sadly goes, Mad Mary lives in there. She has not stopped That's crying so since the day Gertruda has left. Mm. Oh no. Should we go check on her? Is that I a mean, what could we do to help? What, what, what are we going to say that's going to console her or help? <laughs> Eamon kind of sighs. Well, perhaps there's a way we can get Gertruda back. That can is, we commit to that? Not likely. Well, no, that's not something I want to commit to because that would probably mean tangling with Strahd and Quite frankly, as much as I despise that creature, I'm not sure we'll, a we'll be able to um, uh, negotiate with him on fair terms, to put it bluntly. Anybody who's looking definitely sees Brimstone give Aemon a side eye when he says despise that creature. <gasps> Ismar kind of looks back he at never... you too and goes, oh, so you've met Strahd. No, 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 no but the we're, we're, we're well you. acquainted. <laughs> Riley just like is shaking her head like we do not plan to deal with Strahd in any way. That is -uh. <laughs> perhaps for the best. Yeah. Ugh. No I'm sure thank other you. Adventurers have tried. Yeah, and more adventurers will, but we are not those. We will not do that. <laughs> Well, Very adamant. This is, this is literally just Riley do it being that cat gif of the cat going, no, 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 exactly. I love it. So, yeah. Um, I guess we'll not that dumb. <laughs> go to their house. Actually, is the church on yeah. the way? No, the church oh. is no, like the opposite, the opposite direction. Mm. Where is the, oh, the church is near yeah. the graveyard. Yeah, it's way at the it's top there. there, yeah. All right, so later. So, mm -hmm. making your way downtown, moving fast, walking, <laughs> and you're homebound. <laughs> We're homebound. <laughs> I'm trying, Leanne, but you're not letting me. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Sleepovers at I is Mark's. <laughs> Do you have control of your token? So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, what am I doing? What? Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> what, what was it? Why can't you move? <laughs> but sorry. Okay, yes. We're making our way to the the Burger Master's house. If I can find it mm -hmm. in here. Because <laughs> again, I wasn't 100% prepared for everything. In my notes, it does say Burger Master. I don't know how to. I forgot how to spell Meister. It's weird. It's also not spelled Bur. <laughs> like I always spell it completely wrong. Yeah. I spell it like burger Me as too. in a food. It's that's not. Yeah, like as in a burger. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No one's it, gonna see these. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. As, as you <laughs> head up, you see a weary-looking mansion that just sits beyond a rusting iron fence and. The iron gates are twisted and torn, and the right gate lies cast aside while the left one swings lazily in the wind. There's, I... like, a clang as the gate, like, bangs against stuff. Weeds choke the can grounds we, and we... press with menace against the house itself. Yet against the walls, the growth has been trampled down and create paths all over the place. Heavy claw Amen marks will... are on the, like, walls. And great black marks tell that there's has been fire somewhere. Oh dear. Not a pane oh. or shard of glass has been broken though, and all the windows are barred with planks. Oh. Amond will hold up the gate that's broken and gesture for Riley to come over. <laughs> Yay! Hello. And you could mend the gate. <laughs> Look, it's the least we oh, can do. Sure. Uh. That would take a while, though. Like, no, it just cast mending once, because it's the oh, hinges. Yeah? I'm assuming. Oh, right? just yeah. the hinges. The hinges oh, are broken. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can just, I can mend those real quick. There we go, nice and sturdy. 
Cool. The, there you the, go. The it, noise was bothering me. He looks at, <laughs> at you, Riley, and he just smiles and goes, well, thank, thank you very much. You did not need to do that. It will probably be broken again before too long. We, we must hurry inside. The night comes soon. Ah, uh, you're right. Well, sure, mm. yeah. <laughs> Amond will um, walk up to... Sorry, were you saying something? Oh, no, I wasn't. Go for it. <clears throat> Amark will walk... Amark. Ismark. Amond will walk up to Ismark and ask, what ha- happens at night? Amark is the ship. <sighs> Amark is the ship. <laughs> no. I can't. <laughs> Do the- Sorry, Dan. <laughs> this kills me. <laughs> and then Amond will kiss him. Um... Yeah, kiss. <laughs> okay, go for it. All right, all right. So he look, like, no, looks a little that. sadly at you. He goes, they come at night to try and take her away. They, oh. And then he I like see. turns oh. and leads you into the house. Uh, Amon whispers is... to Amon. She's like, does he mean Strahd? Strahd or someone like him. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> No worries, no worries. They they cannot enter the house. Not unless they are invited, so... Just don't invite them into my house, and it will be good. I don't yes. plan on it. <laughs> yeah. No problem. <laughs> I'll invite them into a shallow grave. That's that's not 100% Damn. how that works, but okay. <laughs> Eamon mumbles something about how much he hates vampires. More side eyes from behind. More side eyes. Aww. So oh, no. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. The world would be better if off if they all just went away. Yes. Oh, well, no. anyway, easy. <laughs> yeah. Not easy. He's Mark. He's Mark. He's Mark leads you in to the 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 mansion, and it, the interior of the mansion is well furnished and. The, everything looks like it's been there a long time, though, so it's they're showing signs of wear, but they're still nice. And you you see that the like there's holy symbols like all over this place, and all, everything's boarded up. And you you <laughs> see like a wooden coffin in the middle of the like hallway here, with <laughs> wilted flowers. And he goes, "Sorry, we haven't had a chance to take." father over to the church. Oh no, that sucks! Seems to keep the devils out, huh? Yes, oh. it's the only way. If you'd like that, we can do it tomorrow morning. You hear, like, at this point, a voice, Ismark! Ismark! And, like, footsteps and a woman comes running down the hall. There you are! It's almost night! Where have you been? Uh, oh, hello. She notices all of you, because... Who are these? What did she Irina, look like? Irina, the, these are peop- yeah. adventurers. We have brought them to... Uh, we are going to head to Velaki. Oh. Yeah, what does she look like? <laughs> she is an <laughs> elegant, like, beautiful woman with, like, uh, like, auburn hair that is, like, got stunning, strong facial features, and she's just gorgeous. And she's wearing, like, kind of a little a bit of armor and nicer clothes, but she's got, like, a scarf wrapped tightly around her neck right now. Riley has hard eyes. Oh, good. <laughs> she kind of smiles at you all. Oh, you, you will bring us to Velaki, then. Eamon nods. And, uh, we'll lay your father to rest on the way. I was hoping to visit the church. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I would, I would not leave until father is put to rest. I am, I am Irina. Yeah, no problem. Irina Koyal... <laughs> Where the hell is her name written down? Koyana. Koyana. <laughs> Koyana. <laughs> I, I am Irina Koyana. I am the adopted daughter of the burgomaster and... He's Marcus, my adopted brother. That's nice to meet you. I, I'm I'm Riley. Hello. I I still have my hood up, by the way. Yeah. 
They are, she like smiles at you and goes, They are like the one that came by not too long ago. The tall one? Yeah, yes. He, he they are like him. As tall as me? Not not <laughs> quite so tall. Little shorter. Again, I, 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 was, I was doing that to lead that, like, Brimson is also probably stooping a little bit in this house, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Too tall. Little, little shorter <laughs> than you, taller than her. He's in the middle. Hmm. Oh, Heyman gives a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just how I like it. <laughs> you need to stop. And then the kiss. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, hopefully, we'll we, are, uh, we will run into him soon. Yeah. We were hoping to rest here for the night. Yeah, is that okay? Well, it's getting late, so it's probably in your all best interest. After all, they it's not safe in the town at night. Yeah, we wouldn't want to imp uh, impinge impugn upon your hospitality without your permission. Of course, of course, brother. It, it, are the rooms ready? He like nods and this way, this way. We will lead you to the rooms. And sure enough, there's like a few guest rooms that are they're n nice furniture, but they're still like old. Everything's a little okay. bit tattered. Are there enough Riley for all of us, or are some of us doubling up? Uh, there's enough for all of you. It's a big place. Lovely. <laughs> Riley compliments her uh, Irene clothing. Like, I love, I love your armor. Where'd you get it? Oh, it was. Yeah, where'd you get it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a gift. It was a gift from my my adopted father. He commissioned oh. it to protect me. Things have gotten oh. poor since Strahd has taken an interest in me. Ooh, that's oh, that's right. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got that armor. It will not protect me for long. He's already visited me twice. Oh dear. Oh, no. Any enough? Any of us have to notice it, like to realize at this point the connection between her wearing a scarf and like this? <laughs> Would we know enough? Roll about for insight. Fighting the neck thing. Sure, I'll I'll insight check that. Yeah. Oh, she's wearing a scarf. <laughs> yeah, around no, her don't. neck. Yeah. <laughs> You, you That's have, a seven. Nope. You, you just think it's a really <laughs> nice scarf, Riley. Yeah, I definitely was like, ooh, nice scarf. Can I attempt yeah. an insight? Please. <laughs> yep, nice Please. scarf. Yeah, you. Nice scarf. You all nice think scarf. it's a really <laughs> nice scarf. <laughs> we're all, we're all yep. dumb. Can I? Don't can I just make it a full set? Can I just go for it? Please, yeah. please, yeah. go for it. Help us, dumb. <laughs> I have, I have expertise in this, so let's see what happens. Fucking so good! <laughs> I'm so fucked up! We're so good at this game! Oh, no! no. We're so good! Jeez, you guys! So, <laughs> Zelfie, you have, like, the faintest idea that she's wearing a scarf for something other than wearing a scarf, <laughs> but you have no okay. idea what? At least Zelfie has a. <laughs> I literally just wrote down that scarf is suspicious in my notes. <laughs> I love, I love the idea so that, that when Zelf Zelfing does poorly on an insight check, she just concludes something is vaguely suspicious. <laughs> like, that's that's why she's good. Like, she just decides it's suspicious regardless. <laughs> Even, Even though, though I don't know why. Amit is going to ask if they have like a bath or something because he did actually at one point have to roll around and mimic goop. Well, yeah. yeah. Grim kind of got a little uh, plant goo on him as well. What are you talking about? I'm fine. <laughs> God damn it, shut up. <laughs> Amon, Amon, if possible, is going to go take a bath. Bath at the uh, Yes, there, there's water in the back, but we do not have you... a lot. Do oh. you honestly believe that, that Barovia is well off enough to have a bathhouse? <laughs> it, basically, I would rather... it's like a little, like, tub that is- A tub? Yeah, like a little tub, yep. <laughs> It's a what wash tub is barrels? fine. I just don't want to. I don't want to waste their water. Yeah, it's like a little wash tub. Aww, I yeah. you probably wouldn't be able to even fit into it, but it's a wash tub. Because <laughs> you're so <laughs> picturing the same thing of like him hunched up, like with his knees to his chest in like a little wash tub, right? Yep. Aim and aim. Ducky. It, but it is for washing, right? 
<laughs> yes. Because I don't want I don't want to bathe in their drinking water. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, this is specific bathing water, but yet. Okay. Then Aim Aim is gonna take his armor and clothes off and go take a bath. Not in front of everyone else. He'll change out. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'll see him naked. <laughs> Y'all get <laughs> Anyways, Eamon will take a bath and then and then go oh, yeah. to his room and, and say his evening prayers. Neat. Uh what does Riley do? <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to decide what Riley would do. I don't know if she wanted to chat more with Irina. Ah, she might be too awkward, so I guess she'll head for bed too. <laughs> <laughs> Before Brimstone goes to bed, he's going to knock on Riley's door. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm awake. I guess she was reading. Mm. Hey, what's up? So, uh, I don't, um, I don't want to, uh, to take us off of our, our path too much. I mean, I, I don't know how important it will be, but uh, to me at least, the, the effect that uh, there's been another tiefling here is uh, significant. Yeah, that's really weird. I <laughs> even with all my travels, I haven't really met too many tieflings <laughs> no, <me neither. laughs> at all. And I don't even know where I came from. So, like, even then, like, this is weird. <laughs> and then they kiss. No. Yay! <laughs> Damn it, Dan. Um. Well, uh, I just uh, I'm I'm going to go and uh, you know recover my strength I just wanted to uh, to say um just be careful okay I'm, I'm worried because frankly from what we've seen in this place far I would not put it out of out of the realm of possibility that uh, some less hospitable people mistake you or I for you know some uh, you know foul being or something <laughs> like that wouldn't you know. wouldn't be the first time mm. yeah just uh, uh you, you too. Be careful. I, yeah. yeah, you too. Cuz okay. Yeah, if people can easily uh they can easily mistrust people like us. Well, I mean, I mean you put your head up and stuff. It's I mean, I I don't I mean, he again gestures and stuff. Oh. I don't uh I don't uh it, hide these do massive you, muscles. <laughs> too too mass. Do, do you want do you want a cloak? I have extra. No, if... no, I um, I like to uh, I like to let my skin breathe. You know, it's uh. You sure. I, Maybe I... not like a little shirt. Maybe. Hmm? It wouldn't. Uh, mm -hmm. It would. It would be. It would be, be uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, I do make yeah. clothes yeah. for a living. Oh, do you? you do I did not. I did not some... know that. I. Uh, oh yeah, that's I, uh... that's my thing. That's that's <laughs> that's how I've made a living for this long. But right. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, but yeah, I, if, if... Mm -hmm. I kill things for a living. That's uh, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> that's a little tougher. At this point, he's like rubbing his neck, and like the conversation has gotten very awkward and weird. And he's... <laughs> yeah. So well, um yeah, uh, yeah. Good, uh, goodbye. Anytime. Oh okay. Well, good night. Reached... And then yeah. a little notification <laughs> comes that says they've reached sea level relationship status. Yes! <laughs> Social link up! Social link up! <laughs> uh, after that, Brimstone is gonna, um, he's gonna go to his room, but then after he thinks everybody else is asleep, he's gonna go outside and just stand outside the door and watch. God fucking damn it. God damn it! You. Oh again. my god. Uh at, no. Like as you stand out there, like Ismark comes up to you, goes, "What are you doing? You should rest. It's it's going to be a long night." Oh, I'll rest. I just uh, I like to keep uh aware, you know, keep uh, keep everything around me. Uh, Ismark, your uh, your sister. Yes. Um, she mentioned that Strahd had visited her. Yes, she he has come to take her away and. We cannot have that. She does not wish to be with him. He no. wished... I do not know why he has taken such an interest in her. But... We cannot stay here. 
he will come for her for sure. Valaki is defended. So, with it's the only place that will be safe for us. Okay. Well, if you, if that's what it, is, is what you wish, and uh, and and we can help out to repay you for your hospitality, I uh, I hope that we can uh, we can make things easier for you too. And uh, and Amy and I, I'm sure, will be able to, uh, to take your father to the church uh, tomorrow morning. The church here in town is that all right? Because I mean, yes. If we had to, we could probably carry it the whole way. But uh, if you, it would be uh, easier to. That is not advisable. We will take him to the church tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Okay, and he's he's gonna um he's gonna go to bed after that. Great. He he like. What are you doing tonight, Zelfing? Much. What are you gonna do? Zelf- <laughs> Nothing special because Zelfine really does legitimately need her rest, but she does insist <laughs> that her room is the one next to Riley's so that she can be at least somewhat of an alert and aware bodyguard. So you probably heard their conversation, honestly. Oh, I, yeah, it was it was kind of awkward, so I'm gonna try not to bring it up <laughs> for the two of you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just sitting there trying to write in her journal, listening in, just like. I want. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if, like, late at night, Riley kind of would knock on Zelfine's door and ask. I had a nightmare. (laughs) Oh no! No, We could have like a little sleepover fun time, but like she is actually scared. (laughs) Like she's kind of masking it. It's like, oh, let's have fun. Let's. Let's, but there's uh, like let's terror in her eyes. Stuff. But yeah, yeah she's I was like gonna kind say... of on to the pillow, like really tight. Like, hey, let's hang out. And Zelfine just kind of like gives her this like odd, suspicious look. Like, sure, sleepover fun time. Yeah, great. wouldn't yeah. it be great? Just the best. Yeah, come, come on in. Awesome, Aww. awesome. <laughs> I, I, I might fall asleep. Sorry if I do. That's I, I think she like she that's fine. she like says she's like uh, gossiping about Irina and how pretty she is. <laughs> Zelfing just kind of like sits at the edge of her bed, like listening and nodding every once in a while, but not really saying much. Yep. <laughs> and then Riley falls on the floor Entire or whatever. Has been the most awkward. I love it. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Good. Good Less off. awkward Amen. in the house full of death. Eamon just kind of, Eamon just kind of like, walks it, walks by the rooms, just in a towel, whistling. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, just goes, is, covered in, is his is the rest of his body covered in scars? I'm curious. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Oh no! He has battle scars everywhere. Yeah. The boy. The boy. <laughs> But, but you can tell that, you know, orcs sometimes have ritual scarring on their face. Only the ones yeah. on his face seem to be done with any sort of, like, method or practice. The rest are just battle scars. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's just going to snooze. Cool. Like a big old da, snooze. Da, 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 so da, da, what's da. everybody's uh, passive perceptions? Oh, uh, and <laughs> twelve, okay, fourteen. So, uh, f- uh, twelve. So, everybody but Riley, like in the night, you'll hear like scratching at the walls at points and the footsteps of something outside, but n- nothing really come like no big noises, but enough to know that there's something outside wandering around. Well, I don't Why hear that, do I? Because I'm oh, yeah. I get a passive perception of Jen. Yeah. yeah. So anybody with like a 12. Yeah. Okay, so it's Riley that would hear it. It's Brimstone that okay. doesn't. Brimstone that would not. I sleep like. That's why he doesn't sleep as much, but what he does, he sleeps like a freaking rock. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. He snores, he snores like like seven chainsaws as well. I'm glad He's a Riley big boy with big with snores. Got <laughs> <Okay>, yeah, <it's laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Snores. <sighs> I'm glad Riley kind of uh, slept with Zelfine because she, I bet she wakes up from that. Yeah. <laughs> she, she slept with Zelfine. Oh, god damn it! 
It's canon. It's canon. <laughs> Zelfine heard it too. And it probably definitely woke her up, and she just kind of like looks over at like Riley and sees her awake too, and is just like, go back to sleep. Amond Amond will actually grab his hammer and put on his armor and kind of like groggily walk downstairs and sort of peer out the window. So as you peer out there, you see like shambling zombies on the road on, on the like area around the house and as well as like a couple of wolves pacing back and forth mm. oh no Amond Amon. okay is there any way <laughs> I can word... no I is there any way is there any way that I can ward the doors with my protection from evil spell Ooh. Yeah, they, like, they're already a little bit protected because of all of the holy symbols around. No, I'm gonna, like, sp- like the salt and the divine magic and everything. Yeah, sure, go for it. Nice. And I will I will chant in Celeste. I will open the window ever so slightly and then start chanting in Celestial as kind of like a warning. As, as I sprinkle <laughs> salt off. and holy symbols. Yeah, basically, this is like the fuck, fuck off. off spell. Evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, fuck off, evil. Fuck off, evil. Fuck off. It's celestial language, but he's about getting as close as you can to fuck off in celestial. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you hear like one of the wolves start to growl at you as it hears the celestial. Nice. But I no. Just, I look it right in the eye and I and I give it the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Good. I love it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna Adrian's shut the window. Adrian finger. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna go back to sleep to get my spell slots back. Great. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, other than that, the night goes by without incident. Good. Apart from all those incidents. All those incidents. <laughs> yeah, well... Nothing, like, attacks. You just know that something's out there, and come morning, it's gone. Okay. Eamon kind of sweeps up the salt and stuff. Sorry, I had to take care of something. Full rest, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, full rest. Everybody gets all their stuff back. Nice. You get half your hit dice, uh, half your level and hit dice rounded down? No, for the full full rest is everything. Oh no! Yeah, we no, have but, a full uh, rest. Uh, but... No, but uh, the, uh, for long rest, uh, uh, regains spent hit dice up to a n- uh, number of dice equal to half the character's total number of them. Oh, well, no. I know. <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah, no, hit dice is, it's not hit points; it's hit dice. You just get about. everything back from a long rest. I thought you got hit dice by. <laughs> yeah, you get half Anyways. your half level and hit dice. Can we just say that we're full? You, you get DM... all your hit dice back, yeah. Everything okay, is full. Sure. Everything's back. We're full. Right. We're Yum. good. We're all Anyways. gassed up and ready to go. Yep. Yeah, and in the morning after breakfast, uh, Eamon will actually remind them that they're going to take the coffin to the church. Great. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. It's the least we can do. Yep. So is Mark exactly. and Irina are already downstairs, like, kind of hanging around the coffin. <laughs> I thought you could say they're down to... No. <laughs> no. Is Mark and Irina are down to... No! <laughs> Amon no. no. will position himself... Amon will position himself next to the coffin and kind of crouch down a bit and sort of nod to Brimstone and say, Live with your knees. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And they'll they'll pick up the coffin. All right. I I guess I'll watch. I'm not <laughs> very strong. Have you, hold on, have you got it? Have you got it on like your shoulder, Eamon? Uh, y- yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. So Brimstone's like got got to have it on his shoulder too, because like if you were holding it like down, he would have to like crouch. Oh no no no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, I, like, I, you, I, I, you two are on one side, and like Irina and uh, Ismark are on the other, and you're just kind of. Carrying it. Right. All right, and okay. we'll take it over to the church. All right. Wait, I, Irina I and Irina and Ismark are both on the other side. Yeah. 
I, I okay. Yeah, you you each grab like a corner, but it's pretty yeah, obvious that she's, she's like not enough. holding it quite as much as him. Aw, Riley's still impressed though. She's trying her best. <laughs> she just wants oh, to feel useful. <laughs> Aw, she's so cute. I love her. <laughs> I, I guess um, Riley's gonna follow. What? Uh, yeah. So I'll you make along. your to the church. Your way up this way. I, I mean, I'm it's assuming everyone's coming right. with. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. we still hear Mad Mary weeping as we oh pass yeah by her house? As you walk by, you okay. still hear the sobbing, and Irina also looks over and kind of shakes her head. Eamon is going to go into the shop and say you're carrying the coffin with him. You're no, no, no. He, he's gonna say set the coffin down for a second. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Just, just, I gotta do something. Okay. 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 So you wander into the, uh, the shop. <laughs> into the and shop. I'm going, to put down, I'm going to put down uh five gold pieces on the counter and say, make sure that Mad Mary gets her provisions, and tell her that things will be okay soon. He, like, looks at you and goes, What? Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, why, why do you think I give a shit about Mad Mary? Because oh. I gave you five gold pieces. Okay. He, like, takes them and sticks them in, like, a bag and just kind of, like, continues to Make sure read stuff. Make sure that she gets provisions for however long that'll cover. And I, you know, that's good gold. I expect it to last for a while. And make sure she knows that there's someone looking out for her. Right. You know what? I'll just write her a note. I'll just write her a quick note. Just, just give this to her. And then I'll just leave. And he just kind of is baffled by <laughs> you. As you, like, leave, he goes, gold for me, I guess. Oh, God damn it! Don't make <laughs> me an oath breaker, he says before he leaves. Oh, uh, what now? It was too good. He, he doesn't. He doesn't say anything else. Amy, and then I'll just, just help. Amy, did you just seriously just trust and trust something to him? Yeah. Do you want to? I turn to I turn to him and say, "Do you want to just stay here and and uh, fuck around and 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 deliver food to Mad Mary for the next couple months?" Didn't think no, so. No, but I don't and then think I'll just... he will either. Well, then consider it a charitable donation to help a local business. And then he picks up the corner of the coffin. Sometimes, no. sometimes you have to trust that uh, maybe, you know, bad people try and scam money out of other people because they need money rather than because they're bad people. <laughs> okay, man. Aww. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's trying. <laughs> He's trying. Even if he is gonna scam us, you know, I'd ra I'd, he probably needs it more than we do. And certainly Mad Mary needs it more than we do. And then he's gonna lift the coffin the rest of the way to the church. Okay, so... Yeah, under his breath, under his breath, he <clears throat> definitely says that we should have helped Mad Mary instead. Hmm. And not, so, not, not, so can, not so Eamon can hear it. <laughs> Eamon just doesn't want to make promises he can't keep. Yeah. Aww. Fair enough. Good boy. Just, he'll de deliver provisions. This is a common arrangement. And then he'll mutter. <laughs> <laughs> to the church. All right. Yeah. To the church. So as Go you to start church. to head up that way, you notice that the, the church is in a bit of a hill, slight rise, and uh, it, it's like seems to be almost under the shadow of the castle that is off in the distance. Ugh. It's like, clearly like th it. this this church has seen better days. It's all like battered and a bit worn and weary. The, the bell tower in the back is like, kind of cracked. And ev everything is just Ugh. like a little s feeble and gross. But... Ugh. We'll move everybody into the church. 
Woo! Actually, I need to copy paste people into here. Because <laughs> now we are. Ignore this basement area over here. Just ignore that, because I haven't put the closet <laughs> floor on it. Oops. I'm sorry, what? Ignore what that! Basement? <laughs> what basement? No, there's no basement. <laughs> ignore that. Okay. Just look at the <laughs> ground floor <laughs> level. <laughs> everybody put your tokens on the floor. <laughs> yeah, everybody put your tokens down. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, so Get open up your character sheet. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, yeah you I... can do that. Eamon is going to go inside because I'm assuming we're not breaking the coffin inside of the church. Yep. And oh. Yeah, because you'll I guess, be bringing it around the back, probably. Yeah. yeah. Eamon is used to dealing with holy men. He's going to go up and, and look at these smashed pews. With Zelfine, apparently. Hi, Zelfine. I'm almost <laughs> ready here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brimstone will stay outside with anybody who wants to stay outside with him. If... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay outside. So Irina and Ismark wander in, and they walk and go... Donovich! Donovich! And they, they walk and see Donovich, like, this pudgy looking priest man sta kneeling behind the pews here in the back, and he's just praying. And he, like, as he hears his voice, he, like, perks up and looks over and goes, I, Oh, Irina, Ismark, what are you doing here? Our father, you know he's he's dead, so we've come to put him to rest. And he like nods. And he goes very, very well then. And starts walking off this way. Anybody wanna roll me a perception check? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess since I'm in the uh I guess since I'm in there, I'll roll a perception check. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, anybody it, anybody it, who's inside, yeah. Or Insight. Okay. Perception. Hey, well, okay, so. Okay. That's a. Uh, oh, no, I don't see anything. I got a seven. Okay, yeah. Did you don't... go with Damon, or uh, did she stay outside with us? Uh, no, sorry. I was on mute earlier. So I definitely stayed outside. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. so, okay. This you... place looks to be in ruins, Father Donovich. Is something wrong? <laughs> Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong all the time. It's. That's just the way sucks. of things. Everyone has left us. We there's no there's no gods here anymore. And he starts to yes, walk. Yes, yes. Taken by the devil, and then he walks. Amon walks alongside him and oh. tries to console him a little bit. He does not take them. They have abandoned us. He sighs, and uh, if I might ask, what church? Who do you worship here? The Morning Lord, of course. Amon kind of. Nods. Not my uh, personal choice, but good on you. He shakes his head. And then he sort of he shows his holy symbol. Uh, he's not sure if they'll recognize it, though. Yeah, he just kind of looks quizzically at it. He goes, I do not know if I've seen that symbol before. It's Tyr, the maimed god. God of justice. Well, that is sounds like a good one to follow. You, you keep believing, my son. <laughs> and uh. he starts walking off. <laughs> Just clearly, like, his head is elsewhere. Is this door open? Uh, no. Okay. You can open what it door? if you want. <laughs> what door? No, no, well, uh, I wouldn't see. <laughs> uh, there's nothing there to see. Yeah. Like, Walk past us outside? Yes. And he, like, as he, like, opens the door and sees a tiefling, he just kind of stumbles back a bit and goes, Death! Death! Oh! Who- Oh no. Who are these? Oh, don't- don't worry, father. He is- They- they are adventurers. They are here to help. He just, like, looks you up, up and down, and goes, If you say so. Uh. Anxiety rises. Yep. <laughs> Amon will uh, go back to help to with put... the coffin. You have someone to put the body? 
place it, to lay the rest. It's in the back. Here we go. And he All was... right, come on, Eamon. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! To the literal! <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, so he... he... It's not on this map, but he'll lead you into the back here. S pretend that there's a cemetery up this way. <laughs> yeah. Use, use make believe. Use make believe. Got yep. it. Katie, who has oh, not been able to see any of our cool maps this entire time. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm on this. No problem. I can imagine it. <laughs> As he opens the door, do I catch sight? Can can we see like the the trash views and stuff from out here, or is it sort of obscured? Oh yeah. Uh, well, if you glanced in the windows, you'd be able to see. Hmm. But I think not... you would have. Yeah. As we passed by here, Brainstone probably would have looked through the, seen through the windows. Yeah, they're like stained glass, yeah. but you can still see inside that everything's kind of smashed to hell. Brimstone will whisper okay. to Eamon, Eamon, what happened in there? I have no idea. He won't talk about it. I'd well, like to check um, it out. <laughs> eyes open, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Eamon will sort of flex his hand around his hammer. Cool. <laughs> you know, if you put the hammer on your back, you can lift the coffin a little easier. Two hands are easier than one. Well, it's... No, he's not gonna... <laughs> that's not... It's still on his side in a holster. He didn't, like... No, you're fine. You're fine. I was just giving you shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're being mean. You're teasing. So, Father Delvinich <laughs> leads you into the cemetery, and there's actually an open grave already. So, they... Oh. He leads you over to there and instructs you to put the coffin in, down there. Well, well that's very convenient. Ready? You had this ready already? I was expecting the Burgomaster for some time now. I'm af ah. afraid it might have gotten a little muddy in the meantime. How long right. have you been expecting him? A week at least. Ooh. By the way, the body does not smell great. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna Eamon, say. No. Eamon will help to lower the body in. <laughs> Br Brim, don't do a big sniff on the body, okay? <laughs> don't bad. eat the body. Don't do see the, what it tastes like. Do the biggest sniff. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Sorry, he did He did meet... He, he has met another a new person, so he is going to do his big old sniff. Yeah. Now, hey. here's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I can detect the number of creatures within a sixty-foot radius. Does that include people that are uh, hypothetically? Hidden? Hypothetically. Hypothetically. You yes. Yeah. It's you, anybody. It's anybody within sixty feet of me. Yeah. You smell underground something. It's not a person though. <gasps> oh no! Father Donovich. <laughs> he's like he's, in the middle of doing Donovich. like. He is in the middle of like doing prayers over the body as like he like looks at you. This and Father Donovich smells on the up and up. He smells like a human, right? He smells straight up like a human. He looks extremely haggard and tired, but you're not going to like this question. <laughs> what is in your basement? He like goes dead pale and stops and looks at you and goes, "There's." I can smell it from here. What is in your basement, Father Donovich? Do not, do not go into the basement. Please, Can I tell what type please. of thing it is? Or does it just smell off? It smells off. Because I don't think you've run into one of these before. Okay. I would like to use my divine <laughs> sense. Oh. Okay, you, you can tell there's a vampire spawn in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, the, the divine spike takes the fun out of everything. I'm going, to put, I'm going to lay a hand. Hold on, let's see. I'm going to lay a hand on. Uh, father. It is behind total cover. Technically, oh, he's behind total cover. Oh, oh, well, I guess I can't. I guess I can't yep. do a big sniff then. Spoilers now. Spoilers now. There's a vampire. In <laughs> I don't know how divine don't know sense that. actually works. How does divine sense work? Uh, uh I'll, I, I have. I have. Your your next turn second. within. Yeah. Yeah, you've got another thing. I've got the book. Uh, open if how you do, need it. Why isn't? Hey, go into the chat box. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Strong sense as it actually can open awareness to take for six feet. That is not behind total cover. Well, it's underground, so yeah, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to sense it. That's Damn pretty it. covered. Yeah. yeah. Dang it. 
But yeah, Brick can still <laughs> smell that there's okay. something here, so. But there is, yeah, not sure yeah, what. Yeah, it's got to be a little faint because obviously, like, it's, it's you know, underground. It's underground, but yeah. Mm. But you know that there's I someone I... else other than Donovan here. After we... not a human. After we have lowered the body into the hole, I'm gonna, as a ritual, cast ceremony. Can I do that? Oh, I mean, nice. sure. Father Donovan is already, like, reciting Morning Lord prayers at it. Oh, no, he's basically oh. just gonna make it so that basically ceremony prevents the undead from, basically the body from being turned into an undead mo monster for seven days. Okay. So, okay. yeah. The he just wants that, that... I'm gonna help him with the funeral mm -hmm. rites, basically. Yeah. So the, the two of you okay. go at it and <laughs> do the rites, and then Irina and Ismark start to bury him. She is clearly, no, like, t fighting back tears, and Ismark just looked sad, staring at her. Brimstone's going to take the shovel from uh, Irina. It, she goes, no, no, I, I want to do it. He cares Eamon will me. put a hand... All right, Brimstone's gonna back off then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll put a hand on yeah. Father Don so Father Donovan, right? It's Donovich. Father Donovich is back and say, "What is in the basement?" He you looks at you. Us. My son is in the basement. <laughs> he is not well. He is not well. What has put happened? Him in the basement. <laughs> Why is he in the basement? He looks at you again and goes. He made a foolish choice, and now I am protecting him. He cannot go out. He cannot. He is sick. He must get better. What kind of disease could he have that he would be locked in the basement for? He is sick. He is sick. And this is like all that he's saying. Is he sick? But Can I Riley, roll Riley, what? Oh, okay. I was going to say when you uh, when you say up in the basement, Riley kind of tenses up a bit. I am a paladin. I have healing powers. If he's sick, I can cure him. He looks at you and goes, I do not need that kind of <laughs> cure. You paladins only, you only do one thing, two things like, like my son. And he like starts to walk off and says, you must head away from Castle Ravenloft as fast as you can. It is not safe here for Irina. I'm gonna try and get him. I'm gonna try and at, at, when I'm inside, can I use the divine sense? Like, will well, that not, give we're me? We're not inside right now. Yeah. Or, well, I would like to, I'd like to follow him inside. Like, I, I'm I'm pursuant about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, before actually, can I? I was gonna do a thing before you walked off. Sorry. Brimstone is going to put um, he's going to sort of like uh, stop him for a second. And he's going to call out to the father and say, "Can you be sure that he and the rest of the town will be safe?" The way things are. Nobody is safe here. It's the way. Which is why you must leave. If you wish Eamon to will s Sorry. <laughs> if you wish to live, you must leave. And what about you? I cannot. This is my place. I must help my son. Very well, then. If he must be imprisoned, how much can you possibly be helping him? I will find a way. There, there has to be a way. I don't know. I can, if it's not something I can cure, is there a way? I will find one. I, I will feeling... find one. I... Do not Brimstone, talk to Brimstone, me. Brimstone visibly laughs when Eamon says that. <laughs> can, can, can I make like a religion check or something? Or like an yeah. insight check? You can roll an insight check. That's a 19. Yeah, you know that he's basically deluded himself into thinking that he can find a way to help his son, but he deep down knows that there's no way that he can help his son. <laughs> I'm, gonna put a hand, I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder and say, I think you and I both know that whatever your son has, 
I don't know if you're going to be able to cure it this way, just by keeping him locked up in there. So what do you expect me to do? If I let him free, he will hurt others. I cannot let my son hurt others. If you leave him locked up, you are causing him to suffer. If he is in such a state, he cannot be cured, and you have to keep him locked up to keep him alive. I will find a way. He is suffering. I... Amon, Amon will say. Amon if there will say, is no way, he is suffering, and you are causing him to suffer. He is like looking up at you, Brimstone, with anger just seething off his face. Brimstone, please, this is no, Amon. Get out of my church. Fine. If, if we do again, find a way to help, sort of hospitality to someone. <laughs> Eamon is going to put a hand on his face. This is a matter for holy men, Brimstone. And then he's just going to leave. And before he leaves, he sort of turns back to Father Donovich, plays the hand on his holy symbol, and gives him a nod. He looks a little, like, touched by this and, like, nods. If I come back and find that that boy is still locked up, and you are still causing him pain, I will not allow my friend's kindness to get in the way. <laughs> and then Brimstone leaves. <laughs> God damn it, Brimstone. Oh, man. <laughs> you pushed a button, Father Donovich. He you sure pushed did. a button. Yeah, he, he really did. believes oh. that he could help his boy. <laughs> yeah, actually, Riley's pretty silent about this. <laughs> Eamon, Eamon, after they get out, Eamon kind of, like, looks Brimstone in the face, like, really? Like, whatever. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Fine. As, Fine. As you, like, what? Eamon, those who cause others to suffer are not worthy of your kindness. <sighs> it's not him I'm worried about. <laughs> and, quite frankly, I don't think there's anyone in that basement. At least, not there the way you There is someone in the basement. Oh, no, there isn't. He left long, long ago. And the name is just going to walk walk ahead and say, we should get moving. Yeah. R- Riley, Riley kind of mumbles and is just like, doesn't mean they're not important. I could smell his blood, Eamon. A heart beat in that basement. Was the heart actually beating? He doesn't, he, he whispers that. He, he whispered that, Eamon, like, Eamon's locked up, he's whispering that. Uh, Riley or Zelfie might have heard him say that. Yeah. There was no heartbeat. Holy <laughs> ass, he's like, no. No heartbeat. <laughs> Whoops. There's blood, though. That's okay, there's that's still what he says. There's even just if... no heartbeat. Still is me. But, so, uh, yeah. Riley still thinks it's a person, though, so she, yeah, she... So, as you walk by, like, the windows, can I get you to roll perception for me, everyone? (laughs) You got it! (laughs) 19! Finals have been awful! Finally! Perception? Yeah? Yeah. A 2! Great! A 10! Hell yeah! Yay! So, I'm going to say, uh, Zelfine and, um, Aemond, as you walk by the window, you hear very faintly, Father, I'm starving. <laughs> Amen. Amen kind of looks out the window. You don't oh, sorry, see anything in there, but you just hear this, and you're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he steals himself, and he's going to turn and, ignoring the rest of the party, walk back inside, and. Uh, face look Don Father Donovich right in the face and say <laughs> you know what has to be done. That's <gasps> not your son anymore. He like looks really sadly at you and goes Let me try. Let me try, please. I have to try. Payments <laughs> will <laughs> nod his head and say, you know, a friend of mine, he met largely the same fate. We couldn't save him, and then he's just going to leave. 
Oh no. <laughs> now, let's Great. go to that windmill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> everybody! Oh. oh, I'm feeling Riley's anxiety right now. <laughs> yeah, like at, at this point, Ismark and Irina are standing at the like the edge of the road, waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, we ditched them. <laughs> they're just like still, they ha they're kind of walking and like solemnly standing together, clearly like sharing a moment over their dead father, ignoring everything else. I think it's good Aww. that we gave him a moment. <laughs> yeah. I think so, actually, yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Grimstone's been fuming pretty much since his altercation with the priest. Yeah. He's just been upset. upset. He's an upset boy! <laughs> <laughs> Aemon is going to say, Aemon is going to look at Brimstone and say, he has a reason, you know. It's a very good one. It does not make what he is doing any more right. If he only is you knew. His son. No, no, no. Not torture. Yes, he is, Aemon. He is torturing an innocent. <laughs> no, no reason. <laughs> I love that laugh. Never mind. <laughs> Aemon is just going to shake his head and then and then say, "We should get moving. We need to stop by that windmill. I want to fulfill the last wishes of Rose and Thorn." Mm. Yeah. Riley yeah. kind of looks back at the church, kind of unsure what to do, but yeah, she follows. All right. Yes. Does, did Zelfine have any insights on the oh, yeah. screaming? Uh, no, she's being outrageously quiet about it. And, and in fact, uh, when Riley has that moment when she turns and looks back, she's just like, don't, don't worry too much about them. There's no happy outcome for either of them. Just leave them to it. Okay. <laughs> can't wait for uh, that. There. Can't wait for him to break out and then kill half the town. But you know, Brimstone didn't. Brim, Brimstone wanted to be wanted to wanted to be real, real righteous. I will, I will be completely frank, Eamon. Brimstone agrees with you. He wants to kill the boy. He views that the father is keeping his son alive and torturing him by not allowing him the peace of death. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. That was that was some shade that I shouldn't have thrown. I apologize. Let's <laughs> well, keep I mean, going. Brimstone wasn't exactly being clear. Yeah, that's true. Right. He was just upset, and he's like, "No, yeah. don't touch my." I'm assuming. Boy. I'm assuming Aemon and Brimstone for the rest of the for the rest of the trip are just kind of avoiding each other. Yeah. Yo, no, they had a fight. Oh, oh no. no. He's, not, he's, not, he's not avoiding Aemon. He's just for a while now. Aemon has probably noticed that Brimstone has been a little bit short with him whenever the subject of things like vampires or the undead have come mm -hmm. up. Totes. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, so you've kind of like <laughs> made your way back into the town and he every uh, I thought I thought we were going to the windmill. Well yeah, but you have to make your way through town yeah, and back out. Town oh, first. Sorry. And That's, yeah. Ismark and Irina look at you and go if there's anything else you need to do before we go, now is the time to do it. Eamon is going to stop by the merchant once again and pop <laughs> his head in and do like, you know, the scissor eyes, like back and forth. <laughs> and, yeah, the, and the I say, yeah, point. He like and looks say, over at you and goes, you are you going to buy something or what? <laughs> you better fucking take care of those provisions. If you take my gold, I'm going to be real pissed. He like waves you off. Gonna... Goes, yes, yes, whatever. Can I <laughs> can I get a promise from you that you will deliver the provisions that I pay, that I paid for? He just looks at you. Goes, yes, sure, whatever. Is he being truthful? Roll insight. <laughs> what are you flipping? <laughs> I got a thirteen. You don't think he's <laughs> you don't think he's gonna do it. He's just kind of trying to wave you off at this point. Can, I'm going to walk I... up to him, slam my slam my hammer down on the desk, and say, "Listen, if that old if that old woman starves to death, grieving over her daughter, her blood will be on your hands." Do I make myself clear? And if you don't start th stop threatening me, I'm going to call Peter Bimple in here. He will kick your ass. Get out! Get out! <laughs> 
Fine. Oh, man. Then I'm going to leave. No, actually, I'm gonna say, fine then, give me my gold back. You left it here, it's mine now. I'm gonna spit on the counter and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Eamon. <laughs> Eamon doesn't want to cause a scene, but he's very mad. And he's going to go to the house of, um... Boys what's her are face? Mad. Uh, mad Mary? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. And he's going to knock on the door. Eamon, where are you going? What? Eamon doesn't reply. <laughs> Come on. Well, if you're sure. Okay. So, as you go and knock on yeah, the door, you notice that like the door just kind of opens, and as you walk in, you just see this woman curled up on the floor holding a misshapen doll, just crying. <laughs> Eamon, still, he's still got his helmet on, will yep. crouch, crouch down and reach out a hand slowly. She does Ooh. not pull away. She just... Brimstone is in the door frame, by the way. He's kind of silhouetted yeah. against the door. He'll kind yeah, of Riley's, like, stop out of behind. And, and stroke her hair for a little, and, and just sort of brush her hair with his hand a little bit, stroke it a little bit, and say, it's going to be all right. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. It's true that... I swear. I... Not even... Okay, I should have wrote something for this. <laughs> I swear. On my life. Upon the maimed god's lost hand. That I will not rest. Until Gertruda is returned safely to you. Mm. As you say that, she, like, slowly turns to look at you, her eyes just red, and her cheeks soaked with tears. And, like, her face scrunches up, and she, like, leans into you, and starts wailing. I'm gonna give her a big <laughs> hug and pat her on the back and be like, there, there. Eamon! Can you, can you come here for a second, maybe? <laughs> she, like, uh, signals him over. Brimstone's leaning against the side of the house now. Just sighing. Eamon? <laughs> just, come here. And I, I'm gonna sort of hold her shoulders and say, just stay inside at night. And, um, I've left some money at the merchant to get provisions. If he tries to rip you off, tell him that, uh, the maimed god will curse him in the afterlife. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, hugs the doll closer. He goes, hey. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eamon, come, come here for a second. Just a quick, quick second. Eamon, Eamon will now leave. Great. <laughs> Go to Riley. Yes, Yeah, miss. okay, yeah, Riley, yeah, Riley kind of, like, pushes him off to the side so Mad Mary doesn't hear. But she whispers to him, yeah, you know where Gertruda is? She's where yeah. Strahd is. I do not want to go there. Mm-mm. Nuh-uh. Uh, you me, don't have mm -mm. to. Uh, uh, you guys can't go by yourself either. You, you're gonna die there. Well, you would all die there. I'm not going to I go to no the castle. I have no intention to going. You could promise. Yeah. Look, you're causing the woman more grief by promising her something you don't know you can uphold, Damon. I don't know if I can uphold it. But I'm so why sure did you say going... it? Because... I won't be an oath-breaker. And then, then he why kind make of an oath you can't keep? It's part of- part of the existing one. Hmm. <laughs> what existing one? Do I have to read the tenets? Okay, um... <laughs> man, no, no, Maybe, because I don't know anything about t <laughs> I swore to uphold justice within the multiverse. I swore that I would not give mercy to the wicked. But most of all, I swore that if the wicked were to wreak ruin upon the world, it is because I failed to stop them and that I must help those harmed by their misdeeds. That's and then a he's lot. going to <laughs> That's a lot to take in, man. And he's gonna put a put a put a put a 
hand on Riley's shoulder and say, "Being a paladin ain't no pussy shit." <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, and then he's gonna walk along. <laughs> Um, by the guys, I wish that could be the title of the episode, but... <laughs> oh, Ain't no, no pussy shit. No, Ain't no, no. pussy shit. Ain't no That's pussy That's a subtitle. <laughs> Riley kind of just, like, uh, massages her temples and just goes, Oh my god, paladins. <laughs> Riley, you okay? You, uh, you seem a little lost in yourself at the, uh, the church. Yeah. Yeah. No, you've walked off by now. Oh. You're gone. It's oh, me there. Oh, you so talking to me. Yeah, I was talking I'm to Riley. Talking I was asking, are you okay? You seem oh, a little lost in yourself I... at the church. You don't have to tell me why. I'm just asking if you're okay. No, it's cool. It's just... Eh. It's fine. And she kind of walks off. Kinda, I'm going to like, go up to... Uh, like, like, she has a look that she's like kind of a... Kind of like a million miles away almost. Kind of like... Yeah. But she's walking off. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <this is> like... <laughs> I hate this town too. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I think it's I think that's all that Amen has to take care of. Actually, he'll also leave uh he'll also leave ten silver for Mad Mary to buy provisions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are the yeah. in? No, for no for, just with Mad Mary. Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> Smarter. <laughs> Oh wait, did Brim say, like, what did you say, Brim? Out loud? He basically just said, are you okay? You don't have to tell me why you were, you know, a little oh, weird at the church, but... Oh, I thought after that, like, saying everything was bad no. here? Oh, okay. No, yeah, he might have okay. said himself, I think I hate this entire town, too. Anyways, okay. <laughs> I think we're good to go now. So... Does anyone else have anything to take care of? Windmill. Yeah. Yeah. To the windmill. To the windmill. So at the wall. At, <laughs> as you start to exit town, you you recognize one of the people that uh, was hanging out at the inn in the fancy clothing, the ones that were identified as B Vistani. She is standing and looks at you as you start to exit town, and she kind of like waves you over brimstone and looks at you. And goes, you you serious about trying to leave Barovia? Of course. You should At go least to see, get them. You should go see Madam Eva. She will have information for you that is very useful in trying to get out of here. Where is she? She's by the pool. The uh <laughs> Where's my map? The pool? <laughs> the pool. <laughs> this year? This Beach year pool. Episode. Beach episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst speech episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second worst speech episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Let me just pull that up again, because I can't remember the exact name of it. I, like, I posted the map in chat since I figured that's the mm -hmm. one we bought from the merchant. Yep, that's the one you bought. Hell yeah. The map is just very large in Roll20, so it's... <laughs> yeah, it's done. <laughs> down by the Zero Pool, there is an encampment. It's on, on the way. You are on the road that you are going. So, I would recommend stopping there. She she will be able to help. Right. So, we should stop there. Yeah, we have Sounds someone good. to meet. <laughs> be careful out there. The roads are not so safe. I can, I can go meet him myself if you all are wary of it. It, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> Come on, Bominos. So, you, you guys... Yeah, we start going, and in the moment that we see the Zerpool... Um, well, yeah, instance, it's going to be like... a bit of a trek. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. as, as I'm going to say, as you ed trip. reach the edge of the, the city, you you see everything kind of sprawled out in front of you. And you know it's going to be a long road, and we're going to end it here because I've got stuff to do, and it is almost <laughs> three o'clock. <laughs>